So remember last night when I told you that um, I was coughing so much or my husband was like, what the hell? You know, it, it like came out of nowhere. We got done eating and I had my little dessert and my body started just coughing, just coughing. And of course, like I said, the, the medical holistic industry will always try to say it's food poisoning or somebody would make that assessment that, oh, you just got food poisoning, you know, go lay rest and whatever. But then my husband, he had his usual milk and cake um, probably an hour or so before he goes to bed and he starts throwing up, diarrhea and all that stuff. And so, and then I was coughing last night, right? And I could actually feel, I could actually feel that, or hear myself breathe. It's interesting, like, like you hear a whistle through one of my nostrils, like my channels. And so, yeah, the Delta variant, variant is here, just so you guys know. The Delta variant is here. Um, and I know everyone wants to be in a curative state. They don't want to feel it. They don't want to feel evolution. And the whole thing with the jelly juice, especially if you haven't really done it, is yes, you can use it. You can use it as a mediator between your environment, your body, and how you expel stuff and help energize the body's evolutionary process. And of course, with the food supply, that is obviously optimal. And so yes, today I made some soup with top ramen, the sodium beef broth type of things, the carrots, the onions, the, um, and some beef chuck. And so yes, that actually with, with Italian spices, yeah. So anyways, <clears throat> so that will be good for him and it also will be good for me. And the thing is, is that I'm coughing stuff out because my body has a, a first line of defense that's very, very strong. And that's why I say my jelly juicers, okay? You know, at some point you're going to have to strengthen your diaphragm and know that your mucus, like your ear, nose, and throat are the first lines of defense. That's why you shouldn't get your tonsils taken out. But people do, I know. But, but the reason why people take their tonsils out is because they're exposed to so much evolution, more than their body can handle, and they haven't trained their body to get rid of mucus. And so that they get rid of mucus, then... Um, or get rid of the, the tonsils, then they won't have to deal with it. But then what happens is, is that the body isn't able to measure in evolution in a balanced way. So you get a full load of the virus right in your body. And then it's when people have reactions, they have diarrhea, they have, they throw up. And so my body was able to take in the virus in a very mediated, controlled way. Because you can't escape viruses, but you have first lines of defense that help mediate your adaptation. And so that's why you don't get operations, because you take away lines of defenses so your body is able to adapt to your atmosphere in a very, um, in, a, in a way where it's not going to destroy you, where it's going to cause you to have so much suffering that you can't help but take away organs and have operations. And so, yes, the Delta variant is here. My husband feels it, finally. Not that I want him to feel it, but I think that he needs to get some kind of evolution. Because here I am, you know, every single time I see people, I evolve to the level of the environment because there's new viral entities. But when you don't feel the viral variants and your body isn't getting rid of excess, then you're taking it on and it ages you faster. And so, and so you know, you got to understand that Viruses do contribute to the cancer, they contribute to the disease, the chronic illness, the autoimmune disorders, because people are not treating their bodies with reverence, they're not maintaining their bodies with reverence, and so there's so many programmings going on that are conflicting with each other, and then people start glitching, and that's why you see the rise in cancer, the rise in disease, and in chronic illness, you know, just all out vital organ failure because they don't have the substance behind them to deal with the, the piezoelectric shocks and they don't have the strength and the fat, which is the same thing, around their organs. And then also, yeah, they haven't maintained their body very well. So, so I'm gonna let you guys know that yes, the Delta virus variant is here and it's not gonna go away right now, it's just building up steam. 
I felt it the last couple of weeks. Now my husband feels it. Imagine what it's going to be like come fall. After everybody in summer is hanging out together, mutating these viruses. And then fall comes around. More of the rains, the colder weather also brings up these things. I don't understand why cold weather does that. But, um, but then also, yes, everyone's hanging out together and they're in close quarters and they're exchanging all the different viral variants. And then, yeah, people are hanging out, like, you know, and they're all therapeutized and they all been recently therapeutized, vector therapeutized. And so it's going to mutate the strains out there. We have 7 billion people out there in the world that are mutating the strains. It's not like we're locking down the country yet again. No, we have global travel. And so just because you had a vector doesn't mean that that vector is going to then guard or give you any kind of adaptation to other variants because there's a lot of them out there. I felt another one today, but it wasn't as bad as the last two weeks. <clears throat> I already built up my coughing mechanism to protect me. It's not settling in me and causing me to have diarrhea. I had no diarrhea. I had no throwing up. My husband and I were expo exposed to the same virus because we ate the same food, yes, but we had different desserts. Right after I ate my last dessert, my, my dessert, I started coughing. After he, he ate his dessert, he started coughing. So at some point, you know, <clears throat> something triggered, but I don't have any diarrhea. I wasn't throwing up. I almost, uh, when I was coughing so much to get out whatever it was, I felt like I was going to throw up, but I didn't. And so I noticed that, yes, my coughing mechanism, my ability to understand mucus, spitting out stuff, under fostering this line of defense right here is what's going to protect people. If you don't foster this defense and you're taking Theraflu and you're taking mucus drying stuff and you're taking NyQuil and you're taking out organs like your tonsils, you won't have a line of defense here. Everything's going to go straight into your body and you're going to get such an evolutionary upgrade that some people can't handle it. And that's what's going on right now. And that's why you're seeing um, them pushing the vaccines. That's why you're seeing them push the masks and the social distancing, but not anymore because they say, okay, well, everyone's, well, you know, 40% of Ohio has been vectorized. <clears throat> We're going to open up everything. Big fucking mistake, but whatever. People want to have their freedom. They don't realize what viruses do. Regardless of where the virus came from, it doesn't even matter. It's here. What do you do to strengthen your body? But I'm noticing how I react to the viruses versus my husband, how he's going to be reacting. And it's going to be pretty insane intense for him once the stuff does go through his system. I'm going to be there to help him through it the whole way through. But, you know, you what's going to happen is he's... He's... Well... Other people are going to be taking all of their drugs. They're going to be going to the hospital taking drugs and all this stuff. I'm going to be giving him um, top ramen with sodium and food. And I hope and his body is going to release. I'm going to give him electrolytes. He probably won't do the J-Juice. That's fine. I'm going to give him electrolytes. I'm going to give him food. I'm going to say, okay, you need to now allow your body to release and diarrhea. And here's some soup. Eat your sugar. Here's some sodium, here's some water, here's some beef bouillon. Eat that shit up and build your body and get your electrolytes back in your body so you have the ability to defend against aggressive, that you have the ability to regenerate because that's what pain is. It's regeneration. And so I'm finding ways to figure out, okay, how can I, because I, I know that when I tell people to get off the JJs after they've been on it for a while, and they have to deal with their viruses, you have to support these viral uploads correctly. So when people have dealt with their predispositions on the J-Juice, they know that they can survive the symptoms because they brought it up to begin with. And so now when you meet a virus in your environment, you're not going to be afraid of the symptoms. You're not going to go to the freaking doctor and get shit taken out. <clears throat> you're not going to go get antibiotics. You're not going to go and get all these different medications that's going to take you down notches and notches and notches until there's nothing left. Okay, so when you know that you, you can survive the viruses and the evolution and you support it correctly, then it's just allowing the electricity to figure out what to do. And then, yes, people will lose weight when they have the flu virus. You see people lose weight when they have the flu virus. They hardly eat anything and they're throwing up. 
and they're diarrheaing everywhere. Yeah, that's the body releasing the old programming. And now you're bringing a new program and you, you support it correctly. But what happens is people then go get to the doctor and get antivirals, antibiotics, and then some people are that so far gone they have to go get the IV bags full of the electrolytes, which is what's in the sodium packets and in your sugar bowl and in the jelly juice adding maple syrup. So he's not going to do the jelly juice. Well, i got to find other ways to get sodium and electrolytes and food in his ass. And I'm figuring out the strategy. i got to save my husband. Even if, even if he's not going to do the J juice, i got to find ways to save his ass. Because I know he doesn't want to pass away from all this shit. All right. You guys have a good one. Bye.